Good morning. This is the Ramblings of an Indiscipline Mind podcast for Tuesday, December 15th, 2015. Wow, so we're halfway through December already. Woohoo! <sighs> Frankly, I'm just, I'm just trying to get through my last few work days here. Um... Got past it. Um, next Wednesday, so a week from tomorrow, it's my last working day. But this Friday is my boss's last working day, so that's <laughs> the pressure is going to be off uh, a little bit once he once he goes on on break. And uh, so yeah, I'm looking forward to that quite quite a lot. Uh, results of the doctor, the eye doctor, was good. I am, uh, everything is looking good with the eyeball, so that's cool. He said there was going to be good days and bad days, and, and today's feeling like a little bit of a bad day. Um, I just don't feel like things are as clear as they were yesterday, so, but that's okay. It's a process. I got on Moodle yesterday, which is the online learning tool. And our instructor had in, had had updated our grades there. And I got an 89 to per 89 point something percent on on the final. You know, and you know, it says something about the complexity of these final exams when, you know, and I can't review it, so I can't see what which ones I got wrong, but where, you know, that's, you know, 88, 89, that's the best I've got on any exams. And they're open book. You know, I, I just feel like the complexity is, is a little high. So that makes my, my, my total for the course... Because the final exam is got the greatest weight, but that makes my total for the course eighty nine point four nine percent. So of course, the breaking point between B plus and A minus is between eighty nine and ninety. So uh, uh, unless this guy does. You know something nice like you know always round up. Uh, I'm going to be getting a B plus. And, and these finance guys seem to be seem to be you know the numbers are the numbers and they're the numbers and we won't change the number because they're the numbers. Whereas the stats guys are like, oh yeah, we'll fart around with these. We'll make it you know yada yada. So same with the accounting guy too. So. Yeah, so I mean, I shouldn't complain too much. My my GPA is going to take a little bit of a hit, but not too bad, not too bad. So we've had a couple, we've had a couple trailers come out. I was surprised watching football yesterday, to you know, part way through to realize that I was watching a trailer for the next Independence Day movie. And that looks really good. It's got Jeff Goldblum in it. It's got uh, the guy who plays father, whose name escapes me. Oh, that annoys me. Uh, it looked like there's, there, there's a guy with a white beard that I think is supposed to be Jeff Daniels. They, they used as a backdrop for it the, the, the big speech that Jeff Daniels' character did at the end of the first one. But I don't think they used the actual audio of the first one. I think they had him redo it. Because it doesn't sound... You know, it sounds a little more... Um, I don't want to say sedate. It doesn't sound quite as impassioned as it did at the end of Independence. But yeah, it looks it looks interesting. You know, we got we got the you know, you know we have adapted their technology into our own. Uh, 
but now they've come back with an even bigger ship, and so the struggle renews. It's us against them fighting for our planet. Um, it doesn't look like uh, Will Smith came back for it. But, because uh, they seem to have some new young hotshot pilot. And you know what, it's just as well, because the reality would be is that somebody Will Smith says now would not be flying a fighter jet. I would think. At, at his age. That's kind of a young man's game. So I've seen the trailer twice, because I watched it once online, because I didn't realize... I didn't realize what it was at first, so I, I kind of missed the opening bits. I wasn't paying that close attention to it. And then the other trailer is comes out, it's for Star Trek Beyond. And I wasn't aware this trailer was out either, but I saw I saw a comment somebody made on Twitter, and they basically said, boy, it'd be nice to to have a Star Trek that wasn't just an action film. I thought, oh, there must be a trailer, and I went and looked for it. And, you know, I understand the comment. You know, and I don't know that it's just an action film. But the trailer doesn't really give you any sense of plot other than a bunch of action sequences. It looks to me like they've had the Enterprise crash land on some planet. You know, to me, which is just cheap. Um, when uh, they had to blow up the Enterprise at the end of Search for Spock, I think it was. Yes. You know, that was heart wrenching. You, know, you, you knew it was heart-wrenching for Kirk because it was heart-wrenching for those of us who have been Trekkies for a long time to see this ship destroyed. And even in Generations, I think it was, when they, when they had the Enterprise D get destroyed, you know, that was sad, too, because that was a ship that we got to know very well when, when it crash-landed. I don't know. You know, to me, it doesn't, it doesn't feel like we've got quite as much invested in the ship in this, in the J.J. Abrams series. J.J. Abrams reboot. Now, he didn't, he didn't do this one. The guy named Joseph Lynn did, who I guess has done some of the Fast and Furious. Oh, we got cops. Cops are rolling. Cops are rolling. Um, so yeah, I'm not. I'm not too sure what to make of it. Uh, I probably need to sit and watch it again. I've only seen it the one time. But you know, of the two trailers, I felt like I felt like the Independence Day one was the better one. I mean, all you can really tell is that there is. You know, there's some sort of a crash that happened because you can see them like pulling out of escape pods, Kirk and McCoy and Spock, um, and there's lots of explosions and running around and blah 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 blah. But you don't really get a sense of what the you know what the plot is. What is the story in this movie besides explosions? And, and believe me, I'm into explosions as much as the next guy. But seriously, there's gotta, you know, there's gotta be a plot. Oh wow! How do you do that? So on the other side of the road, where the cops just went, there was already a cop there, and there's this guy that's rolled over. He's on like the side of the grass, and and the car is on the side, and. It's, it's still too early to tell. There's a little test in the cloud, but there's, there's zero pre precipitation. There's zero fog. I, I just 
have a hard time believing. I mean, I'm guessing he hit the curb wrong or something, but boy, blew your head out of your phone. Anyway, yeah, the two, I think that, uh, I, I, I think that Independence Day came off a little stronger. I will watch the Star Trek Beyond. Uh, yeah, and there's not even really any, any reason that I recall given for the title, Star Trek Beyond. Beyond what? Hopefully they didn't decide to redo Star, Star Trek V. You know, I don't know. We'll have to see. You know, will I see it in theaters? Most likely it's Star Trek. But of the two, as far as building excitement, the ID trailer did a, a much, much better job in my book. Anyway, I think I'm going to let that be that for today. I will be back tomorrow. And I'll be talking to you then. So, be seeing you.